Mohamed Tarin is a sophomore student majoring in general studies. He attended the lecture organized by the Peace and Justice Studies Community on Drones, which touched upon international law and on human rights. There's also a whole body of human rights law, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is one of the more important documents in the legal background of human rights. Ali McCracken works for Code Pink, a woman initiative grassroots organization that works to end U.S.-funded wars and occupation, to redirect resources into life-affirming activities. She has visited drone strike survivors in very close tribal areas of Pakistan. What I'm here to really talk about mostly is the killer drones, uh, which are done by Predator and Reaper drones, predominantly made by a company called General Atomics, based in Southern California. Mohammed is American and his relatives live in a tribal village in Pakistan. Every two or three years, he visits them. He knows up close about how Pakistanis feel about Americans. I've been there plenty of times and I know about the fear in, of, the, of the local people. I guess you could say, despise or, or hatred of Americans. I mean, I was an American in their eyes. When asked about the drones, Mohammed says that's a complicated situation. I think the drones actually encourage hatredism of America, which is pretty sad. We don't need to go outside of Maryland to spot a drone. There's a, uh, a drone training facility that was just opened near the Patuxent Naval Air Station, uh, which is uh, in, in northern St. Mary's County. And a few miles from there is an annex called Webster Field, and they actually do training of uh, training and uh, testing of drones at, at that site. As Mark Miller explains, it's important for students to be informed, involved, and engaged in their community, whether or not they are American citizens. Some students are interested in diplomatic careers, for example. It'd be nice to think that students like that would have a chance to hear a little bit about peace and its connection to human rights. Even though Mohammed says he is a little afraid of going to Pakistan, he's still planning to visit his relatives this summer. Uh, let me get this on camera. They're probably thinking that I'm doing something bad there. I'm not. This is my video proof. I'm not doing anything bad. For County Report this week, in Rockville, I'm Danielle Steski.